Hey everyone, it's Rice Prince, John Creighton Peterson in the studio to show you how to get a little bit of flower power. So now I'm going to show you how to create these amazing, easy to create petals. Now you can also make these for a necklace or a bracelet or what have you. For my finished sample, I decide to make them into petals for a flower. And there's two parts to this. There's the outside metal rim. And then there's the inside, which is the tissue paper that is rubber stamped, and then it has the resin put on it. So let me show you how easy it is to create these. First, we're gonna start by stamping on just some plain white tissue paper. Nothing special about this tissue paper. And I'm gonna begin with Stazon and the Vibrant Violet. And I'm just gonna ink my stamp. And this is gonna be my background stamp. And I'm just gonna stamp this down onto the tissue paper, just like so, perfect. And then I'm gonna use the royal purple, which is a darker purple, and I'm gonna stamp this again. And remember, because the petal is so small, that I'm only gonna be using a section of this. So now I'm just going to stamp just like that. Now I have my metal piece of my petal and I've already flattened this out. I found that if you flatten out the metal before you wrap it, it gives you a flatter surface so the tissue paper is going to adhere to it a little bit easier. So what I'm gonna do is just lay this down as a guide, flip this around this way, and I'm just gonna roughly cut this out, cut the excess off. Find which part of the pattern I like here. And the reason why I'm just roughly cutting it out as once I have the resin on here, I'm going to trim it down more exact. But right now I'm just trying to gauge where I want it to be. Now I'm just going to add a little bit of a highlight color and this is the fuchsia pink and again it's a highlight so I don't have to cover it everywhere. So there is that. And now we're ready to put our resin on. Now I have my metal flower stem. I have my stamped tissue paper and I have this face down so the back is facing up right now and then I have my resin if you notice I have gloves on this is one of the few times I ever wear gloves is when I work with my tissue paper I've already mixed my resin and I let it stand for about a half an hour to thicken up a little bit I've just found this works a little bit easier for adhering the tissue onto the paper so I'm going to do if you also notice before I start I'll show you I don't have very much mixed. This technique does not take very much mixed resin at all to get great results. So now with my stick I am going to spread this along the back and if you get a fold in the tissue paper that's okay. It also looks really cool if you actually crinkle up your tissue paper first too. It just gives it a more aged effect. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little more resin. If you notice, I don't have a whole lot here. I actually have more on the mat right now than I do on my stick. And I'm going to pick up the corner of this just so you can see how translucent the tissue paper has actually turned. There it goes. So you can see how translucent that is. Now I'm just going to set that up on my cup for a second so I don't have to reach for it again and you don't have to watch me fobble it around. Now I'm just going to take a little bit of my resin and I'm going to put this just onto the edge of the metal. Now I like to put this on the back side of the metal. You can by all means put this, put your tissue paper on the front and wrap it around. Here's my tissue paper and now I am just going to lay this face down onto the metal and now I'm going to gently use my gloves to just push the tissue paper down just on that edge so it stays. And there is my tissue paper put onto my metal. Now I'm going to allow this to cure and once it's cured, I'm going to put another layer on the front side. Now that the petal is set, and I'll flip it over so you can see the back side, I'm now going to take 
my X-Acto knife and I'm just going to cut right along the edge of the metal. That's what's nice about having the metal on the border too because you can use that as your cutting edge to get real close and accurate with your resin. So now I have the one side cut and now I'm just going to cut the other side real quick. I already have my resin all mixed up ready to go and I'm just going to begin filling this in and I like to have it completely flush with just the top. Again, this doesn't take very much resin at all. This would be the time also that if you want to add your inclusions like glitter or mica, you can add that in now if you'd like. And here's the finished petal with the layer of resin put on here. And after making a few of these, you can join them together to make your own beautiful flower. And if you're real ambitious, put together a few flowers to make a stunning bouquet. To see how to make your own flower, be sure to check out the full instructions on the Ice Resin blog, where you can also find other great ideas. For more of my personal projects, be sure to check out my blog at artnewwave.com.